CD38 is a new and promising target for the treatment of uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. We talk about this topic with uh, an expert, Professor Anil Polus, that we met at the third annual conference of SO Italy, the Italian section of the Society for, of Hematologic Oncology, uh, that is born uh, from the collaboration between the Istituto Romagnolo per lo Studio dei Tumori in Meldola and the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. Professor Polus, uh, CD38 is an emerging new target for the treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Why and which are the evidences? Alessandro, buon pomeriggio. Um, I will say that you know we've long known of CD38's prognostic significance, um, meaning that patients who have high levels of CD38 expressed on the tumor cells tend to have a poor clinical outcome. But it's only been recently that we have come to consider it as a therapeutic target really predicated on the um, experience of daratumumab, first in class monoclonal antibody that targets CD38 and its efficacy in multiple myeloma. And so really based on that and um, the preclinical studies at my lab, as well as uh, seminal basic studies conducted by the Malavasi group from University of Torino in Italy have conducted, we've come to understand that it is a high value target. And based on this data you have just described, your group at the Mayo Clinic in Florida has conducted a preclinical study investigating the anti-CD38 agent daratumumab in a patient-derived CLL model. What have you done and what have you seen? Number one, we have found that nearly all CLL cells express CD38 to varying levels. And the fact that uh, daratumumab does induce uh, killing of these CLL cells through multiple mechanisms, and they're both immune mediated as well as direct apoptotic effects that we see. And the functions that it seems to inhibit to some extent are the ability to directly inhibit BCR signaling as well as uh, some of the NADA's functions of CD38. Now, secondly, what we've noted and what we identified is that there is a special subpopulation of CLL cells that are very similar to uh, B regulatory like cells, and these are CD38 high. What well, we noted that when you use daratumumab in these models, you are able to deplete these CD38 high B regs, which then leads to this widespread remodeling of the immune system um, overall, shifting it from this kind of pro tumor immune suppressive state to this very anti tumor uh, disposition where the T cells are more activated to be able to attack the CLL cells. And this then we tested off into uh, uh, in an animal model, a PDX model, um, showing the same effect. And building on these preclinical data, you and your co-workers conducted a phase two clinical trial investigating the combination of daratumumab and the standard of care for this disease, that is ibrutinib. Today at the SO Italy conference, you presented the preliminary results of this trial. Which are the study design and the results? So this is a single arm uh, phase two study. And what we've done is we've stratified it into two uh, arms to be able to test it in two very specific patient populations. Again, the combination is of daratumumab and ibrutinib. Arm A is really designed to test the addition of daratumumab to patients who have either uh, progressed on ibrutinib or are holding stable and steady, but they have hit a response plateau. Um, and arm B is for ibrutinib naive patients. Um, the dosing schedule is uh, standard daratumumab dose is used in multiple myeloma. Um, cycle one, uh, we give just daratumumab alone. Cycle two through 25, we have added ibrutinib uh, oral days one through 21. Now the primary endpoints are overall response rate and secondarily, we're looking at PFS and uh, toxicity profile. What I can share with you, even though it's a small a uh, number of patients that we've uh, just started to enroll is that the patients progressing on ibrutinib with the addition of daratumumab are holding steady, uh, so we're able to maintain disease control and stability. Um, and in the ibrutinib naive um, setting, there is partial remission being observed. Overall, I'd say that um, all patients, we see a steady decline in their absolute lymphocyte counts, and we are starting to notice minimal residual disease um, levels decrease as well. Overall, the treatment's well tolerated and it's promising. So, what will be the next steps in the research on CD38 as a target for CLL treatment? Yes, our next steps are really to better understand the inhuman 
uh, activity profile of the trial that we're doing right now, the dare to and brutinib combination, uh, where we seek to understand once that you know you give it to a patient, what happens in, with the immune cells as well as the tumor cells itself. So we'll be doing a lot of correlative studies in my lab. Uh, the second step really is to figure out the best combinations beyond ibrutinib and daratumumab. Um, we are working on a venetoclax and daratumumab combination. Uh, we've shown its activity in preclinical models um, with the publication um, under review currently. So we do anticipate that to be a, a promising avenue as well.